Okay, back for another rant video. I've only done one this week. This should be pretty quick. Facebook, changing the way that folks engage with the news feed, or shall I say, moving the news feed away from its priority and introducing more content from groups and the marketplace. In other words, changing the rules again. And it really had me thinking about, here we go again with, now it's going to impact small businesses or other people trying to reach folks through Facebook and they're going to have to pay to play again or find a new way to survive on Facebook. Which had me thinking about speaking at Content Camp this past weekend when a woman asked about what to do when Facebook and Instagram goes down and how do you reach people when that happens. If you can remember about a month or so ago there was a, a bit of an outage for Facebook and Instagram for a majority of the day where you couldn't consistently get on the platform and that's what she was referencing. She said that, hey, when that went down, we couldn't promote uh, our inventory, our content, our specials, and all of this stuff. And of course, everybody on the social media panel was like, well, don't you have other outlets to reach people and an email list and all of this stuff? And unfortunately, the answer was sort of no, and she's really going to start to emphasize other social media networks and, and the like. And what's frustrating is I have this thing about small businesses fighting this uphill battle on social media, but at the same time, it's like a lot of folks just give in to Facebook and Instagram and they say, well, th this is the only thing that's out there and this is all we have. And they sort of just give up that fight, which is slightly annoying. But the other half of it is they're not using Facebook or social media in general the way it is generally intended, and that's to have conversations with people. So when she brought up the question, at first I felt bad, but then I could just see that she was really only using these platforms to just push, uh, push product, push sales, and not really engage with people. And that was the more frustrating part of it, because I really look at social and content as a way to engage with customers, and that you should be open to having conversations. The content shouldn't just be about Here's what we have to offer you, but how can we make a better connection with you so that when we do have something to offer you, you'll be or will be top of mind to the customer. So it's like this three-way rant that I have. It's like, here we go with Facebook changing things again. How does a small business uh, owner survive on social media? And then there's like that third arm here where it's just like, well, they don't really care. Ugh, it's just frustrating, right? It's just frustrating uh, and overwhelming sometimes to hear it from all of these different angles because there's a lot to keep up with. And I don't want small business owners to put all of their eggs in one basket. I want them to build a website. I want them to build and own their own email list. And I also want them to engage with users, customers, and have meaningful conversations that can be reinvested into the business and either uh, you know, some kind of marketing or some kind of new product, right? Listen to your audience, create the digital handshake that I talk about, and don't rely on just one single platform. Build your own platform to make that digital handshake. It's Friday, mattreport.com, mattreport.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. If you like videos like this, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hey, we'll see you in the next video.